When Tiro bravely sacrifices himself for Lord Yoshi Toronaga and his warriors in Shogun Episode 3, and this event establishes the main plot that fans have been waiting for. In Shogun Episode 2, an assassin attacks John Blackthorne. Lord Toronaga prepares to flee Osaka, but he must do so covertly due to the enemies encircling him. The group is forced to fight their way out of Osaka once they are discovered in the act. Montoro, Lady Mariko's husband, pays a heavy price for this as he is left behind to repel enemy soldiers. Although Bunturo's demise isn't stated clearly in the show, it's reasonable to suppose the warrior meets his demise with a struggle. Despite being a controversial figure because of how poorly he abuses Lady Mariko, he has an honorable ending. And now that Lady Mariko has become a widow, Shogun can finally explore the plot that fans have been eagerly awaiting, especially those who have read James Clavel's book. After Bontoro appears to have passed away in Shogun Episode 3, Lady Mariko is free to leave their unhappy marriage behind and pursue a romantic relationship with John Blackthorne. Throughout the first three episodes of Shogun, John and Lady Mariko have the best chemistry despite coming from different countries and religions. The two have a strong chemistry with one another, and they work well together. Their funny performance to divert Ishido's guards is proof of it, but it also comes through in their more casual exchanges and readiness to provide a hand to one another. It appears that Shogun is preparing for a romantic relationship between Lady Mariko and John Blackthorne, and the latter's recent widowhood makes it easier for that to occur. Although the two might have had an affair, Lady Mariko doesn't seem to be the kind to jeopardize her position or morality for something like that. John also has to avoid controversy, therefore it's doubtful that he would approach Lady Mariko, given her husband's proximity. With Bontero out of the picture, things for them are going a little more smoothly now. Given that both John Blackthorne and Lady Mariko are included in Clavel's critically acclaimed novel, a romance between them would seem to be the logical next step for Shogun. In the original novel, John and Mariko start dating covertly, and it's likely that this is how things will work out in the Uxia version. Although Bonturo's passing prevents them from discussing their relationship in public, it does cause them to see each other in a new light. There's no reason to believe that Shogun will omit this section of the text, especially since the first few episodes already make reference to it, given how true the book's events have been thus far.